All right, math 20-2, so we're going to look at using z-score tables. So recall the standard normal distribution curve as shown. Numbers on the horizontal axis represent z-scores, zero is the mean. Positive z-scores are above the mean, negative z-scores are below the mean. The z-score tables located at the back of the workbook give the area to the left of a particular z-value. Left, don't forget that, that's very important. And this area to the left of the Z score is denoted as A to the Z. So Z score tables give area left of that Z score. All right. Always, always left of the Z score. Properties of Z scores then. A Z score for a data value describes the number of statistic standard deviations above or below the mean. We know that. A negative Z score indicates the data value is below the mean and is shown to the left of the mean on the curve. Positive z-score indicates the data value is above the mean and is shown to the right of the mean on the standard, norm standard normal distribution curve. And, important, the z-score table gives the area under the curve to the left of the z-score or the percentage of data to the left of the z-score or the probability that a randomly chosen data value is to the left of the z-score. Note the mean, median, mode all have a zero, uh, have, have a z-score of zero. So how to use a z-score table? Step 1A, on the normal curve shown, shade the region where Z is less than negative 3. That's denoted as A negative 3 on our Z-score table. So I'd say negative 3 is about there on our Z-score table. And we want to shade left of that, less than negative 3. Now determine the area under the curve for a Z-score less than negative 3 using our Z-score tables. So go to those tables at the back of the book. I've got some right here, and let's look up a Z-score of negative 3. So here's negative 3, 0 0.987654321. So negative 3.00 is right there. All right. So that area is 0 0.0013. So the area under the curve is 0 0.0013. Or if I want to change that into a percentage, multiply it by 100, and you get 0 0.13%. Okay. Verify this using the curve up above. So if I go up top and look at a z-score of negative 3, the area under the curve left of that is 0.0013 or 0.13%. So yes, we've verified that. Let's look at example 2. Use a z-score table to calculate an area under the, z under, the, uh, under the curve that is less than a z-score of negative 2. So that's the shaded section. So let's go to our table. Look for a z-score negative 2. Here's negative 2.00 is way down here. So negative 2.00 has a z-score of 0 0.0228. So this area under the curve is negative 0 0.0228. A z-score with an area, area under the curve with a z-score of 1. We'll say 1 is here. Shade that area left. And let's go to our z-score tables. And we're now going to look for an area under the curve that has a z-score of 1. So we have to go to our positive z-score tables, which are right about down here. So a z-score of 1 is right here. So the area under the curve with a z-score of 1 is 0 0.841213. Great. And last one. Area under the curve with a z-score of 2. Maybe z-score of 2 is right there. We shade left of that. I want to find the area under the curve that has a z-score of 2. So let's go to our z-score table. We now want a z-score of 2. So we have to... We have to look for a z-score of 2.0, 2.00, all right, and that is 0.9772. So this area in the curve is 0 0.9772. Great. Example 3. 
determine the area under the curve for standard normal distribution for each of the following z-score intervals. And then convert the areas to percentage to the nearest hundredth. All right, so z-score negative 2.15. I'm going to say that's about here. Negative 2 decimal 15. Shade that section. Let's look for that area under the curve in our z-score tables. So I need negative 2.15. So my negative z-score table, negative 2.15, is right about here. Negative 2.198765, right there. 0 0.0158. So let's write that down. Area under the curve is 0 0.0158. All right. Or as a percentage, multiplied by 100, 1 1.58%. Let's look at a z-score greater than negative 2.15. So here's negative 2.15. We've got that already. We know the area left of that. Let's find the area right of that. Well, to find that area right of it, I'm simply going to go 1 minus the area left of it. So 1 take away 0 0.0158 is... 0 0.9842. All right. So area under the curve, if I go one take away 0 0.0158. Gibson, if you're still in the school, could you call the office, please? Mrs. Gibson, the wreath is waiting for you in the office. That gives us 0 0.9842. And that makes sense. So this looks like about 98 percent of the data. If I multiply this by 100, I get 98.42 percent. Very good. And the last one, what's the area under the, Z, under the curve that has a z-score between negative 2.15 and positive 2.15? So we're now looking for this shaded section of the curve. All right. So we know the area left of negative 2.15 is 0 0.0158. We know the area left of positive 2.15 no, we don't. So we have to find that, all right? So we know this area in green is 0 0.0158. What we want to do now is find the area left of this z-score, positive 2.15. So let's look that up on our chart. Z-score of positive 2.15. There we go. So here's 2.1, 2.1, 1, and we want to get to 2.15. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here it is. Positive 2.15 is 9.9842. So let's write that in our notes. So this area under the curve is 0 0.9842. So everything left of a z-score of 2.15. So the shaded blue area that we want, that area under the curve, has to be everything left of, of 2.15, which is 0 0.9842, that red area, minus everything left of negative 2.15 z-score, which is the green area, 0 0.0158. So that area, if you subtract those, we're going to get 0.9684. or as a percentage, that's 96.84%. All right. Let's look at example four. Determine the four decimal places, the area under the curve for standard normal distribution for each of the following z-score intervals. A z-score of positive 2.08. So that might be about here. Here's 2.08. We want the area left of that z-score. So let's look that up on our charts. All right. 2.08. So here's 2.00, 2 2.00, 2.01, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 here. 2.08 has an area under the z-score of 0.9812. So let's write that down. This area under the curve is 0 0.9812. They just want that area as a 
percentage, or uh, not a percentage as a... All right, so... Example B, what's the area of the curve for a z-score of greater than 0.92? So here is 0 0.92 is a z-score. We want the area greater than that. So let's find the area of the curve for that. Now, our z-score tables only give us the area left of the z-score. So we want to go 1, which is the area of the whole curve. And from that, we want to subtract the area left of 0.92. So let's go to our z-score table and look up what the area of the curve is for a z-score of 0.92. So hey, here is 0 0.92 right there. So that area is 0.8212. So this area here is 0 0.8212 left of our z-score. I want the area right of our z-score. So I have to go one subtract the area left of my z-score. So that would give me an area of 0.1788. Okay. And finally, part C. What is the area that is greater than a z-score negative 1.75, but less than a z-score negative 1.02? Same with the shaded section there. All right. So what I want to do is go to my z-score table and find the area left of negative 1.75, and I want to find the area left of negative 1.02, and subtract those two. If I subtract those two areas, I'll have the shaded area in blue. All right. So let's go do that. Let's find the area on the curve under the curve for z-score negative 1.75. So negative 1.75. is right here, negative 1.798765. So that area is 0 0.0401. Let's put that here, 0 0.0401. And let's find the area of a z-score of negative 1.02. Here it is down here, negative 1.0. Sorry, we're doing that in red, negative 1.02. So this is negative 1.09876543 right there 0 0.1539 all right so let's write that in our notes this is 0 0.1539 so the area in blue that we want the area under the curve that we want in blue is going to be the red area 0 0.1539 subtract the green area 0 0.0401 so that blue shaded section would have an area under the curve of 0 0.1138. Perfect. Let's look at example five. Determine the following probabilities to four decimal places. So what's the probability that the area under the curve between a z-score of negative 1.83 and positive 2.65? So here's negative 1.83. Here's positive 2.65. We're going to find that blue shaded section. All right. So step one, again, let's find the area left of negative 1.83. We can do that using our z-score tables. And let's find the area left of positive 2.65. That's what our z-score tables tells us. And I would subtract those two areas to figure out the area under the curve in blue. So step one. Area under the curve of a, neg of a z score of negative 1.83. So let's look that up. Negative 1.83. So negative 1.83 is right here. Negative 1.8987654. 0 0.0336. Let's write that down. 0 0.0336. And now let's find the area under the curve that has a z-score of 2.65. So let's move our table to the positive z-scores. We want 2.65. So 
zero one two three four five is right there. Zero point nine nine six zero. Zero point nine nine six zero. So again, if I want the area under the curve that is shaded in blue, I'm going to take the area under the curve that was given in red, left of my Z score of 2.65, which is 0.9960. I'm going to subtract the area left of my Z score of negative 1.83, which is 0 0.0336. And that will give me the area under the curve that is shaded in blue, 0 0.9624. Great, I want you to pause the recording and try and do B on your own. Then you can come back and check and see if you did it right. All right, so step one, you had to draw the Z-score of 1.83 and 2.65. Looked on my Z-score table and found the area left of 1.83 is in green, 0.9664. On my Z-score table, the area left of 2.65 in red is 0.9960. To find my shaded blue section then, I subtracted the red and the green. So total red area is 0 0.9960 minus the total green area of 0.9664 gives me the area of the shaded blue section 0 0.0296. Okay, next page, page 233. Determine Z1 and Z2 in the examples below. So now we're going to use the body of the chart to figure out a Z score. So we're told that Z score 1 is given and we want to find out what the value of Z-score 1 is, Z1 is, if I know the area left of that is 17.62%. Right, so I'm going to go to my table and I'm going to look for an area of 0 0.0176, uh, sorry, 7.62. No, that's not correct. 0 0.1762, there we go. So look for an area under the curve of 0.1762 in the heart of our table. And we know that z-score should be negative because it's left of the mean. So let's go to our table and look in the heart of the table. In our negative z-score uh, charts. And we are looking for an area of 0.1762. So I see 0.1762. And nowhere here. we got to go a little down. There we go, 0.1762 occurs right here, 0 0.1762. So what is that z-score reading? That's a z-score of negative 0 0.9987654.3. So it's negative 0 0.93. That's the corresponding z-score. So let's use that one. So Z score one should be negative 0 0.93. That corresponds to an area under the curve of 0 0.1762 or 17.62%. Let's do the same thing for part B. So now we're told the area right of Z score one is 14.92% or 0 0.1492. Therefore the area left should be one minus 0 0.1492. So we're going to look up in the heart of the table an area of 0 0.8508. And we know the z-score should be positive because it's to the right of the mean. So let's go back to our z-score tables and look up 0 0.8508. is right here. Oh, right there. 0 0.8508. So that is 1.001234. 1.04. So let's put that in our notes. So Z1 here is now 1.04. Beautiful. That corresponds to an area left of that z-score of 0 0.8508. Let's look at example B, or sorry, C. Example C says, what is z-score 1 if the area between z-score 1 and the mean is 0 0.2580? Well, 
what that tells me is I can find out the area left of that Z score. And I need to know what that area is. If I check, so to find that area left of Z1, we're going to have to take the 2.58 the 0 0.2580 and add that to 0 0.5 because we know left of the mean is 50%. So the area left of Z1 is going to be 0 0.5 at 0 0.2580. So 0 0.7580 is the area under the curve we want to look for in the body of our chart. So let's do that in our Z-score table, 0 0.7580. So let's look for that, 0 0.7580. Just going to move it up a little bit. Here is 0 0.7580. Right there. So that z-score is 0 0.70. All right. So z1 is 0 0.70. Last one, D. We have to find two Z scores, Z1 and Z2. So if I want to find Z1, I need to know the area left of Z1. So I know the area left of the mean is 0 0.5. And if I minus the area from the mean to Z2, which is 0 0.1292, and the area from Z2 to Z1, which is 0 0.2145, I will get an area under the curve left of Z1, which is 0 0.1563. So I want to look that up in the heart of my chart. So let's find that. 0 0.1563. So we know it's going to be a negative Z score. 0 0.1563. Looks like it's somewhere in here. 0.1562 is pretty close. All right. So my Z score should be negative 1.0987654321. Negative 1.01. So that's Z1. So Z1 has a Z score of negative 1.01. .01. Now, how do I find Z2? find Z2, I would simply take 0.5, which is the area left of the mean, and minus 0.1292. So 0 0.5, subtract 0 0.1292, will give me the area under the curve left of Z2, and that's 3.3708. So that's what I want to look up in the body of the chart, 0 0.3708. So let's find that one, 0 0.3708. So that one looks like it's going to be about here, 0 0.3707. All right. So that's a z-score of negative 0 0.3987654. Negative 0 0.33. Right? So Z2 is negative 0 0.33. So we found the values for Z1 and Z2. Excellent. You guys have your assignment questions numbered 1 through 7. There you go.